What's up, royal gods and goddesses? Welcome to Lighthouse Delphi. This message is going to be for Libra, general message for Libra. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You guys, this, I'm going to focus this reading around love. You guys can also go to my website, lighthousedelphi.com, and look at everything that I have to offer on there. You guys can buy something, get a personal reading, or donate to the channel. We're going to keep growing this royal family, Ashe Ashe. So Libra, what is the love message for Libra? Lifelong. This is your lifelong partner, okay? This is not a short, outlived spark. This is a spark that is not going to fizzle, okay? I know you have to work on certain things. When you have long-lasting friendships, long-lasting um, partnerships and things like that, things can get a little like, you know, like you have to spice up your love life and things like that. But I'm feeling with this person, things are not going to fizzle out. You're going to always have these beautiful emotions um for one another but yeah there's somebody that does need to be honest with you about their emotions about how they do see lifelong with you and that's the truth that's being illum illuminated here thank you holy spirit thank you archangels and thank you ancestors of the highest divine truth ashe you have a league of angels protecting you like i just said that's the truth so yes this is beautiful soul tribe You're going to have lifelong soul tribe as well as a lifelong partnership if you don't already. That's what's coming in. Yep, look, marriage. I'm hearing also the chariot card in tarot. So moving in victory very rapidly, fast, fast moving change. I feel like this person might propose suddenly or when you guys do get proposed or if you have, it was like a sudden proposal or it might have felt like maybe you have always moved fast in relationships and now this relationship, maybe you, you weren't expecting it to be, to not fizzle out, but it's not going to fizzle out. Divine oneness. You guys are one with one another. True love. Two together is a masterpiece. I feel like you guys might have fell in love fast. And people might think, oh, it's going to fizzle fast. And it's not. And I don't know why I keep hearing fizzle. Fizzle. I'm hearing like bath bombs. Like to use bath bombs. Just indulge yourself. I thank God for you. This person is thankful for you. This person kind of gives like a silent expression, it feels like. Yeah, look, listen to their intuition. They're, they're highly intuitive. So they might be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you just might have water highly aspected in your chart. Eat more vegetables. Maybe you're, you're a vegetarian or they're a vegetarian or a vegan or something like that. You guys both are just making healthy choices for yourself, friends and lovers. Something about sand castles. Something, I don't know, about sand castles, but this person is your friend and your lover or will be your friend and lover. You're my innocence I never want to lose. This person wants ha harmony with you. You guys might be seeing rainbows. This also might be an LGBTQ relationship. It doesn't have to be. I love you. This person loves you and never wants to lose you because they feel like you're a, you're a true. You're a true love. You're not a fake like a lot of these other people. They've dealt with a lot of fake people. You've dealt with a lot of fake people. Even this person with not even wanting to be honest with how they truly feel about you sometimes. You know? But new cardinal start. New start. So whether there's a spring. There's a spring energy. I heard pep in your step. In the moment. 
breathing, being in the moment, stopping and smelling the flowers, Libra. This is bringing in balance. This is balancing the scales of equality, of duality. I feel like you're going to have a reconciliation here. Divine Feminine. Heart exterior. Rejection and abandonment. Okay, so that explains a lot. You know, Divine Feminine, you may not let people in very easy because of different childhood wounds you've dealt with and vice versa. Your masculine might not let you in easy, you hear that? They might not wanna take things too fast because of, you know, but I feel like they are going to. That's the crazy part is like, there's something about the speed of something. You're unstoppable, the speed of you. I feel like you travel at the speed of light. <laughs> I feel like you're you're a light being, okay? And I feel like you help, you've helped yourself heal from inner child wounds, and you're helping this person also um, soften their hard exterior. That's so beautiful. Yeah, divine masculine and divine feminine out here. This is the the almighty pair. You're a goddess. Own your energy. Play your part <laughs> on your energy. Yeah, you've done your shadow work. Or you're doing it. Depending where, what timeline you're on. Union. To bring in this union. This is the ultimate pair. Your silence is destroying me. Oh, goodness. Because this person, there's something that they need. They need to be honest. I'm sorry for taking you and your giving heart for granted. So they may, you may have felt like they took you for granted. You might have overgave also because this is not no victim mentality. You've grown out of that as well. Separation is painful, but our souls know what must be done in this soul agreement. So you guys do have um, a soul union, but there is like a, a level of separation here. It says there's a reason why this hasn't manifested yet. And it's because of different untrustworthy energies of, of not being honest. You still got to. Then this says, I can't explain what I mean. So this person feels like nobody understands them, which makes them not want it to speak. You know, my silence is my way of coping. It makes them not want to speak because they feel like maybe you won't understand them. But they will end up speaking because, look, I don't like being without you. So at some point, they're going to end up speaking. You guys, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Dang, they, they are afraid to lose you. That's why they're going to end up speaking up because they don't want to lose you. I feel like they're afraid they might lose themselves. They, they, or maybe you or them, you guys feel like sometimes in relationship you might lose part of yourself. But I feel like you guys have done the inner work where you won't. Okay? What is this? I want all of you. This person loves everything about you. I'm hearing that Kobe Collat song. It's like, now I miss everything about you. This person I feel is a little bit in regret because they miss your energy, you know? Um, and you might say like, well, why aren't they talking? Because they're they're literally fighting with their with their inner self right now. <laughs> or they 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 did before that, you know, take it as it resonates. But I'm gonna use this sister deck to my other deck. You guys can also purchase this on my website. Get a message for Libra. Stuck in the mud. That's that energy where I was saying they 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 want to move forward towards you with that chariot energy, but at the same time, you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with first. They gotta deal with what they gotta deal with first. It's like I don't know, they get stuck in a ditch or something like that. You can't always help them out the ditch. 
after you tried to help them out the ditch. I don't know what it, that is about the ditch, but you got too close for comfort. You can't, you can't always be somebody's savior is what I'm hearing, but take it as it resonates. All right, Libra. Sometimes I say stupid shit or need to say something. You could have cancer in your chart or they could be a cancer or just you need to go into the water self-care with the water energy. This is this your twin flame over here. Dang, let's get some songs for you guys, okay? So this is my twin flame angel radio deck. So let's see what songs want to come in here for you, Libra. I don't know why my throat is all of a sudden hurting. It's almost like a, they might have a sore throat or you might have a sore throat right now. Or like somebody tried to steal their throat. You got young buck. It's going down. Meet me anywhere. It's guaranteed to go down. Oh my God. I feel like they want to do it to you anywhere. I'm hearing that 112 song. We can do it anywhere. I can love you in the shower. Both of our bodies dripping wet. On the patio. Make it a night you won't forget. On the kitchen floor. As I softly pull your hair. We can do it anywhere. Nothing on you. By B.O.B. They might say hi and I might say hey. But don't worry about what they say. There's beautiful girls all over the world, but I would be chasing and my time would be wasted because I got nothing on you. So this person only wants to come into you. Okay. They feel like you are their sweet lady, their sweet man. It says, would you be my sweet lady for a lifetime? And this goes back to the beginning of the reading. The first card I pulled was lifelong. They want you for a lifetime. So they know that they, you know, they want to come in like with pure intention, with pure integrity, with pure, like with, they don't want to bring you a bunch of baggage, you know, stuff like that too. So Ashe, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, all the information will be in the bio if you want to buy something or if you want to just donate or if you want a reading and Show me some love, hit the like button, share the video. Ashe, Ashe. Peace.